today is a virgin tasting being that I have never tried the Glen Caddam 15 before. So uh, stick around and uh, we're going to get into it. Hey guys, thank you for being here today on McIntyre's Malts and today I am going to do a tasting and review uh, of the Glen Caddam 15. Now those of you that have seen earlier videos on my channel may have already seen the review I did on the Glen Caddam 10. So uh, go and check that video out. I'll put a link in the video as well for you to check that. So I wanted to do this on camera with you guys, open the bottle, get a real sense of the very first nosing, the very first time tasting it, and uh, let you see the reactions on camera and uh, ultimately at the end, what I think, if I like it, if I don't. The Glen Caddam 15 is a Highland single malt. And uh, one of the great things from Glen Caddam Distillery, uh, like many if not all of their expressions, is this bottle is unchill filtered and no added coloring. So two great ticks right from the beginning, right? Uh, it's important, especially as a consumer, someone who uh, values and appreciates uh, whiskey in its most purest form, when a distillery releases their expressions, that are non-chill filtered and non-colored. The Glen Caddam 15 is 46% ABV, so really nice, uh, a, a bit of heft to it, not cask strength, but that range 46 to 48% gives you a, a really nice depth of flavor and good mouth feel. So uh, excited to uh, open this one with you guys. Okay, so as you can see, Given that it's a natural color, it's very nice sort of straw-like color, uh, very light, not a lot of wood influence on this one, you can see. So uh, let's open it. Always exciting opening a new bottle that you've never tried before. I think half the uh, anticipation is uh, wondering what flavors you're going to uncover, right? What's the experience you're about to have? Okay. I love that sound. Every time it's good. All right. Very nice. Okay. Let me get the cork back in the bottle. Let's see. I was a, a very big fan of the Glen Caddam 10. The first time that I tried the 10, uh, it, it just uh, struck me the the creaminess, this butteriness, and and the, and the pears, those orchard fruits that just were uh, captivating, and and I knew that that it was a high caliber whiskey. Uh, when you try lots of different whiskeys, you start to uh, very quickly determine what's good and what isn't. And uh, the ones that stand out really do stand out. So it, it speaks volumes. On the nose on the Glen Caddam 15. Very pleasant nose, very much in line with the 10, similar in that you're getting those pear notes, apples, a little bit of grape in there. There's a really nice maltiness that complements those, uh, those like the fruit, the orchard fruit scents. There's this beautiful natural smell that um, they, they complement each other well. Very uh, lively. Needs a little time 
obviously being the the first uh, pour from this bottle, I've only just opened it. It hasn't had a lot of time to sit in the glass and, and really open up. So uh, I want to give it a little minute or two. Now uh, on the on the front of the uh, Glen Caddam 15, it says the rather dignified. And uh, I think it's interesting, I'm intrigued, right, to, to see the comparison between the two because on the 10, it says the rather delicate. So uh, interesting to see the, the difference in, in uh, you know, how I experience it on the nose and palate. And uh, further down the track, I'll do a comparison video for you guys of the 10 um, up against the 15 and, and see which is uh, the, uh, the one that I prefer. Okay. So we've given the whiskey a little bit of time to uh, open in the glass and uh, let's see if the uh, nose has opened up a little bit more. Getting a little bit of, of that uh, underlying nuttiness, a little bit of an oaky woody influence as well. Grassy, think fresh fields. Um, beautiful uh, orchard fruits growing in a field beside the barley. It's, it's lovely. It's a, it's a wonderful nose. Um, very much a, 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 the opposite end of the spectrum to the, the peated whiskies and those smoky whiskies. But um, it's nice to, to dance between the two and, and not limit yourself to just one type of whiskey and one experience and, and one set of flavors. A good whiskey is a good whiskey, right? When you know, when you've had a few whiskeys and you start to understand what makes a whiskey a great whiskey, you very much as a drinker can appreciate uh, when a whiskey is done well. And the Glen Caddam 15 is a whiskey that is done well. Okay, I'm excited. Let's try on the palate and uh, see what I think of the whiskey. Mm. Beautiful. Tons of of nuttiness on the palate, followed through with uh, the malt coming through. Not as much of the, the pear and apple and grape notes on the palate on the initial sip as um, as compared to the Glen Caddam 10, the 15 is, is far more driven by um, uh, there's there's elements of honey, light honey in there, driven by the maltiness, very much a, a sweetness. I think it's a good name. The rather dignified is a, is a really nice way to describe it. This is a beautiful quality whiskey of integrity, non chill filtered natural color, 46% ABV, and the results in the glass speak for themselves. It's, it's, uh, it's beautiful and enjoyable, lovely mouthfeel. There's a nice, good medium finish on it. Um, it's a pleasure. It's an absolute pleasure to drink. Let's try again now, see on the nose if, if the uh, aromas are starting to unfold and what else I can detect. Just a beautiful, clean, malt, honey, light orchard fruits, nuttiness and, and those subtle oak, oak notes coming through. Just really nicely done. Everything is playing well together. It's a very, it's a very nice whiskey. For someone who definitely leans towards the, the, the world of peat, uh, I often find that Glen Caddam as a distillery draws me away from the, the peated whiskies. Uh, I'm, I'm spellbound. It's, it's beautiful. All right, let's try now on the second sip and uh, see how, how it's changed. Mm. 
What a lovely whiskey. The, the flavors haven't subdued. It's exactly the same. Uh, I think there's more of a, a, a bit more of a roundness in that the 15 feels uh, like the flavors have had that and they have that little extra time to develop in the cask. Um, the 10 still has a little bit more of that um, uh, spirit influence, whereas much more of the of the barrel influence is, is shining through now, giving that the, the oak and the nuttiness adding to that and the pear, apple and grape notes that I um, pick up on the 10 um, uh, are not at the forefront on, on the Glen Caddam 15. Um, just lovely, great mouthfeel. Still lingering on my palate now. Um, just uh, think the good quality caliber spirit with with great ingredients, um, presented well, distilled well, and most certainly experienced well as it uh, uh, ultimately ends up in my glass and then on my palate. So. Um, this is a, a very lovely whiskey. If you can get the Glen Caddam, I would absolutely recommend it. It's uh, generally in the range of 150 Australian dollars. Um, I have had a little bit of difficulty finding it, but it's one that's worth uh, seeking out and getting your hands on. So uh, thanks for being here, guys. I look forward to the next one and I will do a comparison video between the Glen Caddam 10 and the Glen Caddam 15 shortly and uh, share that with you. In the meantime, please make sure to like and subscribe to the channel and uh, enjoy your whiskey responsibly. Thanks, guys.